If you have gout, avoiding red meat alone is not enough. There are three other things that can trigger gout attacks even more strongly, and many people don't realize it. The first one is sugar, especially fructose and artificial sweeteners found in candies, desserts, packaged snacks, and soft drinks. Research shows that red meat increases your gout risk by around 30%, but high sugar intake can increase the risk of an acute gout attack by up to 62%. That's because fructose disrupts liver metabolism and forces your liver to produce more uric acid, sometimes even more than red meat does. That's why you'll notice some people eat red meat regularly without any issues, while others eat only a little meat but consume a lot of sugar and still end up with gout flare-ups. Sugar is often the hidden trigger most people overlook. The second thing to avoid is alcohol, especially beer. Foods high in purines can increase uric acid, but beer yeast contains an extremely high concentration of purine bases. This can raise your uric acid levels two to three times higher than eating red meat. Just two cans of beer a day can significantly increase your gout risk. And the danger becomes even greater when beer is combined with common bar foods like seafood, squid, shrimp, beef, or goat meat, all of which are already high in purines. That combination doubles your risk very quickly. The third group you must limit is organ meats, seafood, and bone broth. These foods have some of the highest purine levels of all, even higher than red meat. Organ meats, liver, kidneys, intestines, along with shrimp, shellfish, and concentrated bone broth can rapidly increase uric acid and trigger painful gout attacks. And the worst case scenario? A combo of alcohol plus organ meats plus seafood. This is the perfect recipe for a sudden severe gout flare. So remember, if you already have gout, don't just avoid red meat. You must also avoid sugar, avoid alcohol, especially beer, avoid organ meats, seafood, and bone broth to truly keep your uric acid levels under control. Take care of your health and follow Dr. Lapp for more clear and practical medical explanations.